Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. <sighs> it has been a morning already. Um, I'm trying to cut back on my caffeine intake, so it's going very well. But um, I did, yesterday, I filmed part for a vlog, like a little first impressions makeup thing. It was kind of all over the place. I didn't have a lot of energy because again, I'm trying to cut back on my caffeine. And it was like one of the most boring vlogs ever. And I was like, I'm not putting this up. I don't want to just put it up just to put it up, like just to have a vlog. So we're going to try this part two, technically a first impressions, technically not because I've already kind of tried it. But again, like, I don't even think I fully remembered like makeup stuff yesterday. Like when I finished doing my makeup, I was like, I think you forgot like three things. So I'm just not that with it. But basically what I was doing was I got the Artiste brushes in yesterday. Plus I have some new like makeup I want to try. And I did. This is one of the things I completely forgot to try. It was like sitting here ready for me to try it. And I like completely forgot about it. Um, so that's what I'll do. I'm only going to show the first part of my makeup. And then I will probably just like cut the camera and then come back with makeup on later. Um, I'm not going to do my full makeup routine here. I think I'm going to film one for an IGTV soon because I don't put them on YouTube really. They don't do that well. Um, like makeup content doesn't do that well on YouTube channels that aren't like Jeffree Star or James Charles, like all those people because the beauty world is so saturated. So um, I don't really do a ton of beauty YouTube videos on that. But last night I did my hair with the Dyson and it was so curly. So I slept in it I was like, oh, it'll be good and flat tomorrow. It should drop the curl. And I remembered that it was the Dyson. So no, it's like, it just dropped it a little bit, but not much. So I have to like fix this because this is way too curly Q for my liking. Um, so I've had it up today in a little low bun, but I'm going to go, actually I need to grab my iPad. I usually watch Shit's Creek while I'm getting ready hold on i swear the longer i watch Shit's creek the funnier it becomes like i've i you notice more about like their mannerisms than you do when you first watch it it's just so funny gosh okay so another thing i am using the artiste brushes and yesterday they made my makeup look so good i can't remember only thing is i can't remember which brush i used for what i think i used this one yep i used this one for powder okay so i used the oval eight for my foundation so let's do this i'm nervous i don't even know if the color matches i have two youtube videos to film today and i don't even know if this color matches i went based off of a little quiz and i think it also is based off of my tan skin i think it is yeah um and my self tanner, I do not have any on. And I could put makeup on my neck, but I really don't want to. TikTok hack I learned. Spray this on before you spread your makeup around. Um, I don't know. That's actually really similar to my natural skin color. Looks well, very, very pretty. Makes my skin actually like feel like silk. Okay, so, so far, I mean, I like it. I think it, let me get my hair does make my skin look very flawless um only thing is for it to make my skin look like even as far as flawlessness goes i feel like i can still see some of my redness through it which <laughs> would be a time to use the dr jart i feel like now though i'm comparing everything i'm like Ugh. well it's not as good without the dr jart okay i'm gonna use my tarte shape tape concealer the best of the best so i used the opal four for concealer yesterday i don't know maybe i need to look up a couple more youtube videos about these artiste brushes because i'm like afraid to like sweep it across my skin i don't know why that's what you do with a regular foundation brush okay so I'm still gonna go in with a beauty blender. I do, I'm someone who I prefer to use a brush and then a beauty blender. I've always been like that. Um, whether it is a expensive brush, whether it's an affordable brush, it doesn't matter. And the reason I have, I got these, I talked about this a little bit yesterday, so I feel like I've already said it, but you guys didn't see that vlog. Um, I got these because my makeup brushes have like well lived their life. Like they are 
they are done and I wanted some new ones um, and I knew that these were gonna be on the Sephora sale and I saw Amy Jackson talking about how amazing they are and she did a side-by-side -side demonstration on her hand of like her eyeshadow her concealer her foundation one day and like showed the difference in like a regular brush versus an artiste brush and like how the makeup applied it was like night and day and she had like really 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 good makeup brushes before so um, everyone you know teach its own but for me I'm big on a brush and beauty blender. Okay, last thing I'll probably show you guys and then I'm gonna come back. So I did use this, I think it was this one. One, that's the one I used for my nose. Okay, so I used the um, Artiste Linear One for my nose contour yesterday. Cause like, actually let me use the Fenty Cream Contour. Cause that one's a lot darker I think. And the Fenty Cream I have Oh, amber and the cheeks out, which made me realize I think this might be a blush. I that is not a blush for me. Can you guys like see how freaking easy that was? And then got a boom, 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 contour the nose. And this time I'm using the oval three. So I use the linear one and oval three to contour. Cause like, look how easy that was. I will come back when my makeup is completely finished because I would sit here and just talk all day and I need to like hurry it up a little bit. Hey guys, okay. It has been hours since I filmed. I filmed that makeup routine like early this morning. Um, hold on. Let me walk in here to more natural light. That foundation is life changing. Um, I ended up yeah, I did a pretty normal makeup routine. I did the setting spray like I usually do, but I didn't set it after. So, went on a run today. What? Like, I can't even sort of tell. And like, running and foundation is a pretty, oof, that light, oof, oof. Yeah, like if anything, my skin actually looks better than it did this morning. What? Oh my gosh, I filmed a video in my closet today. I cleaned it out the other day. It feels so empty and I love it. And that sounds terrible because it's actually not very, it's not empty, but like I got rid of, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think I got rid of like six trash bags worth of clothes um, to either be donated or like given to my mom or a girlfriend. Um, look at these shoes. They have all these rocks in the bottom of them. Uh, but I filmed a video in here today and it feels like so different. I also have the, windows open so it feels different anyway i'm off topic um i my sister-in-law and brother you guys i mean god i talk about it all the time i'm so excited my um sister-in-law and brother are getting married in a couple weeks 24 days um so i have loved estee lauder double wear forever and ever like since my wedding that's what i wore on my wedding day that's what my mom wore on my wedding day but I mean, this foundation's gorgeous. I mean, I might wear this. Who knows? So, if and only if you've used both, will you tell me which one you prefer? Because I really want to wear one of them. I mean, this foundation is legit. But I gotta go edit a YouTube video now. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Um, finished up getting ready. Gotta film one video today, but I don't have to edit it today. Um, so I wanted to take this time and share the most delicious recipe ever. It is. Uh, if you include the bread, one, two, three, five ingredients. I got it off of TikTok. I can't remember the name of the girl who shared this recipe first. It's a sandwich, so it's not like, you know, anything crazy. But if you do recognize the sandwich recipe and you know who I'm talking about, feel free to let me know and I will like put her TikTok or something in the description bar. But I think she's like 300,000 followers, so. No, I hit you with my socks and you didn't react, so. I didn't even feel it. Do you want a smoothie? Uh, can I get one that's not dirt flavored? No, it must be dirt flavored. Yeah, no. I'll make you a smoothie. A so let me actually just put that there. So I toast the bread pretty good amount. Um, I really like super toasted bread. But this is the gluten-free bread from Walmart that I absolutely love. I have tried so many gluten-free breads and this is the best one. So it's 
Sam's Choice gluten-free classic white bread. They also have a multigrain, but this is even better. Um, it's 80 calories for a slice. So get that. This is literally the easiest sandwich in the world to make. I have not, this is like, we are not reinventing a wheel here, people. It is just a sandwich, but it is dang good. Okay, so all we're gonna do on this sandwich literally the best thing ever um so toasted bread you're gonna take one tablespoon each of this traditional i mean this is just literally the classico traditional basil pesto you take one tablespoon put one on each slice of bread this one is a little bit watery at first then you're gonna put four slices of the um, I use any kind of turkey. Honestly, this is applewood smoked turkey breast, but I prefer the natural because it has no antibiotic or artificial ingredients. Like this is like one of the best ones you can get as far as like deli meat goes. Um, and four slices is only 70 calories. You put one tomato and then a little handful of spinach. And black pepper. You can put salt on there. Black pepper's really good. I think the girl who I found this recipe from, I think she puts arugula on hers. I also think she did hers on like a sourdough bread. I do not like sourdough bread, like at all. Okay, now I do a couple things incorrectly. One of them being that I will cut this tomato on the plate with a bread knife because I cut the sandwich and I just don't want to dirty up a bunch of extra stuff for one tomato and one sandwich. You can uh, be extra and like, I guess normal and cut your tomato on a, um, cutting board with a regular knife like you should but for me I just don't want to make the mess so I cut my tomato here I cut it into four slices so that I have two slices per piece of bread this is literally the end all be all of sandwiches it is so good oh my gosh it smells so good a little bit of basil pesto okay then you do four slices of turkey do two on each thing and you can add more turkey it's like when i make the sandwich for sam he always gets way more turkey than i put on mine but since i count calories and he's a man so he doesn't have to and he still loses weight good lord it's not the prettiest sandwich but it is very very good then i put two tomato slices on each piece of bread a little bit of black pepper there you go it is so good Woo. okay there you go mm. so good okay that is it for today's vlog thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to go below click the subscribe button and we will see you in our next one